That's the theory. Is it going to work? Yeah. All right, and for now, what may be entirely a waste of time, we're going to try and make a tool, a jig, uh, a piece of equipment that will fit right here, right over the 12th fret, as indicated by this little slot here, and then um, have an adjustable thumb screw and a wire so that we can position a pointer exactly at the edge of the nut precisely locating the midpoint here and then what we can do is we can pick it up spin it 180 put it back down and that should give us the precise position to put the bridge in the middle of the bridge and uh, as easy as you like there it is <clears throat> it is not elegant uh, it is certainly not the precision that the high dollar one will afford you, but you know what? It works. Two pieces of cherry glued together. I have a notch filed in the bottom of it so that it will fit over the fret. Um, I have a hole drilled for a rod. I don't know even know what kind of metal this is. I found this on the floor in the workshop over at the other house, um, and I got all of the rust off of it and uh, just bent it in the vise and then this is a this is actually a, um, a screw off of a tripod and so what you do is you get the 12th fret and then you adjust this back and forth so that it just hits the tip of the nut hey, hey, there we go just hits the tip of the nut like that and you flip it around and then you can position your bridge right to the tip just like that on this tape we're going to measure straight down off of each one of these so that we can get this centered on that. Let's use this and this. right there. The other thing we could do is we could get more crap on the bench. That's what we could do. Now see if we go by these holes here, look at that. Look how far that gets pushed back. Again, look, if we go by those holes, look how far back it pushes us there. So, using that method, at least in this case, is uh, no the bueno. So, well, I guess we get our clamps ready, huh? Alrighty, let's get this thing done. Downside of doing these, but you're always coming along behind somebody else. Mm -hmm. 
So it has taken me some time to figure out which marks on here are like the correct guide marks because um, some of them aren't. This is this is one of the things that I use for uh, necks. Um, you're clamping uh, clamping shims on uh, dovetails. Squeeze out, stayed in position. to make a forum post right before I film something like this. Alright, there we are. Take a look here. You don't belong over here. top of this up we'll get a little we'll get a hot rag and just make sure that we've got this knocked down uh, if I've got any stuff sticking up doesn't look like I do all right clean it up and 
probably have to do some work on these. Make sure we get them in there. I don't have any glue left over in here? Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. Well, okie dokie, let's press ahead. not totally unexpected <clears throat> simply because we did a lot of build up and we probably closed some holes up there. Hey everybody, welcome back and what's wrong with my chair? Hey everybody, welcome back. Apparently I'm about ready to throw a rod in my chair. Um, we're sending the Carl Fisher home. So, just not much else I can do to it, really. Um, we have fixed the side crack. stabilized it from here to here. There's all kinds of schmutz all over this thing, even after I've cleaned it. Um, could be called Mojo as well. Um, on the back, stabilize that crack, stabilize that crack. On the front, stabilize that crack, stabilize that crack. Put the bridge back on because it had um, expanding urethane glue, foam glue underneath it. Don't do that. Um, which was fun because we had to rebuild the top back on it, um, reinstalled the bridge, um, put in that's the old inlay, that's the new inlay. I hope there's not much of a difference that you can tell. Um, so she's going back. Um, we're not doing it, we're not refinishing it, um, we're not doing much else to it. The plan was to stabilize this um, so that it wouldn't get any worse. My suggestion uh, has been from the get-go that it be humidified. We've, I've discussed uh, with him a, a couple of different ways that we can do that. Um, I'm going to suggest to him that um, he store it with some of this string tension off because as we're putting string tension on, we're starting to lift the heel of the neck. Now the problem with this neck already is it's a three-piece neck and it's separated at the joints. That's going to be my suggestion to him. If we're not going to if we're not going to take backs off and we're not going to take necks off, then then that's my suggestion is that uh, he store it with um, a, a lesser amount of string tension to reduce what's going on here. Um, that's about it. Uh, what did we put on this? We put uh, Jim Dunlop classic guitar ball in normal tension nylon and silver wound. It came with nylon strings, it's going back with nylon strings. Um, 
It sounds okay for not a guitar player here. Yeah. So there it is, the Carl Fisher 19, I don't even remember what we decided it was, 1920s, 1930s, maybe even older than that. Um, there she is, with all the funky mojo you could ever want on a guitar, what uh, is probably some very nice Brazilian rosewood. There it is. Um, yeah, this has been fun. This has been a learning experience. So, tell have a good one. Cheers. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.